I don't know if I had one or not. Ooh! I had one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he smacked it as soon as he hit the water. Figure it might be something feeding on these little shafts, but I don't think I hooked him real good because I didn't think it was a fish. And I thought I hit a rock as soon as it hit the water, but well, that felt good. A little bass doinked it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Get Out Fishing. We are back on Sharon Harris Lake today. It is Monday morning, and we took a little bit of, uh, I took a half a day off, Jim. Working, working working second shift so uh, we had a little bit of weekend of fishing here started last night uh, Sunday night we fished for a few hours we caught one that we'll show you in this video uh, getting ready for another work week here in North Carolina probably like most of you guys already out there working today we're fixing to go back and get after it it's been uh, it's been a lot of work out here at Sharon Harris today already uh, it's the cold front kind of came in uh, last night water temperature last night was 71 degrees when we left the lake uh, 66 today 67 67.2 yeah. something like that yeah it's uh, it definitely chilly um, that fire crawl by biz bait really doing a good job this year it was that custom run that they did uh, caught a decent one on that last night which you'll see here in a few minutes Jim tied on, uh, what was it? Rage? I did a rage tail uh, uh, minnow yeah. with a keel weighted uh, hook and uh, caught one on that. They're uh, sitting in the reeds waiting to ambush anything that swims by, so yeah. uh, it's hard fishing today. Yeah, really hard fishing today. And it's, uh, we can see a lot of bass. They're up on the banks, uh, real close to the reeds, like Jim said, but. Uh, Getting them to bite's another story. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. The one I caught last night looked like it had not spawned yet. Um, the ones that are cruising the banks today, uh, they don't look like they're spawning. I don't know if they're garden fry or what they're doing at this point, but didn't really see. Did you see any real visible nests at all? No, no. Uh, yeah. I mean, I saw evidence of. Uh, I think the one you caught was pretty beat up. Yeah. So. Yeah, the one I caught last night was really, really brutal. But uh, anyway, um, that's just kind of a Sharon Harris report from us. So we're going to stop talking and we're going to show you guys what we caught. Son, that's a that's a healthy one. Yeah, that's a big bass. That's a good one. Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got him hooked good. There we go. There we go. Whoo! Huh? Good job, buddy. Look at that. Right in the roof hold of the mouth. Let me get a picture of that. Son, that thing is healthy right there, dude. Good night. Right in the roof of the mouth. I thought it was dead. Ooh. Son, he popped it. All right, you need to weigh it? I would like to, yeah. Good. Let's see. There's nothing wrong with my. Uh... Yep, here it is. Nothing wrong with this thing. It's just uh, the battery ain't making a good connection in there. <sighs> Your camera's going right. It was. Yeah. There I you go. That's good. Four pounder. No, there ain't no way. Here, take that fish. This fish is heavy, dude. Uh, yeah. What's it saying? What's it saying? Two fourteen. No, there ain't no way. Three nine. Three nine. Yep. Cool deal. Hold that down in front of your camera right there. Three nine. Yep. Alright. Okay. Good job, brother. That was awesome, man. I can just 
Ooh, I missed one. Oh. Still there? Huh? Taking both in. Oh, is it? Yeah, I lost that uh fire cross. Oh, that sucks, bro. You got another one? Oh. Stick fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one, Brian. Oh my goodness, it's a, it's a bow fin. Yeah. <laughs> At least he's fighting, though. By golly. Oh. Crap. <laughs> Nasty old thing. Let me have that. This one's so green. Okay. On the pitcher and. Uh, <laughs> That's a heavy fish. It is a heavy fish. Oh, that's pretty cool in the in the uh, sun sunset back there. Whew, good luck getting your bait back out of that hook or out of that net. Good lord. Yeah, no doubt. Air brakes. That's a good one. Yep. Stay down, stay down, stay down. No, I think I can flip them. Come here, baby. Come here. Whew, pegged him in the roof of the mouth, didn't I? Just a little down. Good lord, he is mad. He inhaled it. Look at that. Holy cow. Look at that. Look in there. Choked it. storm swim bait action this morning yeah huh it's a good start <laughs> that's all I needed to do was just say I wanted something right yeah just just <laughs> ask you shall receive <laughs> Well, that's a chunky little thing. Yeah, they're they're fairly Spawning. chunky. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm gonna jump back into the boat. That's exactly what I'm fixing to do: is switch to my swim bait and throw it back up there next to the bank, because that seems to be what they're hitting on. Right out in front, about five foot in front of the weeds, ain't they? Just sitting there. Mm. I got him. Keep that net on there just in case. Sir. <laughs> I saw him take off. And uh of course my no, it's on. Yeah. I got it on camera if you didn't. Buddy, figure something out this morning, didn't we? Yes, sir.
Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Get Out Fishing. Hey, before I forget, Paul, uh, we did have the net ready this time. Hopefully you noticed that in the video. Uh, we uh, we were ready this time uh, for every fish that we caught. So thank you guys that watch. Thank you for those that comment. If you are new to the channel, you can hit like and subscribe. We'd, we'd appreciate that. And we will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, get out fishing.